The Compson Domain, as it was called by the locals, once consisted of 640 acres of forests, open fields, and the land that would one day be the center of the town of Jefferson, Mississippi. The Compson home would become known as the governor's house in the 1850s when Quentin McClacken Compson rose to that position of prominence. He would be the last Compson, as fate or blood would have it, who would not fail at everything he touched. The governor's son would become a general. It was Jason II who failed at Shiloh in 62 and failed again at Resica in 64. It was Jason II, failed brigadier, who would spend the next 40 years selling off fragments of the family land to keep up the mortgage on the remainder. His son, Jason Lycurgus Compson III, would be the one to oversee the final stages of the family's long fade into irrelevance. What was left of the 640 acres was now known merely as the Compson Place, the once vast property encroached upon by nature, neighbors, and the expanding town of Jefferson itself. Caroline Bascom Compson, his wife, married him for the Compson name and all that it promised, and would then curse that same name for the rest of her days. He would father four children. He would sell the last of the surrounding pasture land to finance his daughter's wedding and his eldest son's Harvard education, and then he would die, killed by drink and grief. Listen to you. Now, ain't you something? 33 years old and going on that way. Mm. If you don't hush up, Grammy ain't gonna throw you no birthday for you. And I'm gonna eat that cake all up, including the candle. Now, come on, help me look for my quarter. Mm. 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 Come on, you old lump. Mm. Wait a minute. You snagged on that nail again. Every damn time. Oh, Benji, you got snagged on the nail again. You got your hands all dirty. Here, rub them off. Hey, Caddy, not too far now. Baby, take this. Mm. 
Stop, Benjamin. Stop, Benjamin. Get him a flower. He wants it. It'll quiet him up. Poor baby. Why is you calling him a baby? He's a man. Big as those. We're going to the cemetery. I know you won't come, but if you did... What? I feel safe. Safe from what? Mm. Stop. Before you start the damn loony balling while you drive down the middle of the street. Stop, bitch. Get on, Rose. because it's his birthday, I reckon. How old is he? 33. You mean he's been three for 30 years? Yeah. I don't know. I just go by what my Grammy say. Come on, Benji. Let's get you in the water. Maybe that'll shut you up. Yeah, that's right. Good old man. You just... Stare at those feet a bit. I know your mama gonna whip you you get that dress wet. He's not. How do you know? I know because I know, Quentin. What did you know? I know because I'm older and I go to school. Well, I'm seven and I'm going to school next year. Ain't I, Bush? Quentin go. He's pouting down at the tree. Quentin! Come on! I love the old skis that stay there for once. Quentin loved the shadows. Mm. Come on, Benji, have another. Mm. Come on. Mm. 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 
There's plenty more mm. in the cellar. Mm. Look. <laughs> we'll just say damn drink it. Mm. <laughs> he a smart dog. Maybe he drinks champagne. You know what this way need, Benji? Mm. Mm. It need one of them mm. dancing bears. Mm. Now, think about it, Benji. One of them bears walk right in this barn. Uh, 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 have fun with me, bitch. Uh, uh, Be a bear. Uh, 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 Quinn, why you look so sad? A man's supposed to be happy at his sister's wedding. Uh, <laughs> shut up! You shut your mouth, Bush! You shut up! You shut your mouth! Have some shut up, Bush! I'll kill you! First! Get on out here before I whip you. Come on now. Come on, you big eyes. Let me get you on your feet. There you go. talking in his own sweet time. Y'all's all talks enough anyway. Benji don't talk, maybe, but knows all the same. How? How does he know? I'm not sure how he knows, Mr. Quentin, but knows he does. Mother cry. Oh, Grandma's life. Benji, I can't go to the show if I don't find that quarter. Y'all get back out. We've got company. Is they study old grandma's funeral yet? Funny. What's a funeral? It's where they moan and sing and stuff. Oh, that's just for colors. White folks don't have funerals. White folks. Funny. I'm saying we're not supposed to say nothing. White folks die too. What's she talking about? Where are we going? To the tree. Come. What are we doing here? Shh. Bush, push me up. Careful. Careful. I am, silly goose. I'm going to tell him, huh? Please, man can't work with all that hollering going on. That's what I'm trying to do. Oh, 
okay, bitch. Uh, there you go. Now you got the whole night and 20 acres of pasture to bell in. Might as well do it now before they start building that golf course. Time's up. Let's go. Jason will be home soon. You know he don't like you out here watching, folk. We'll go search in the woods. Come on, you old turtle. You know they're gonna send you to Jackson after your mind dies, don't you? Mr. Jason say so nearly every day. Here, that he's around this house well, ever. Well, you won't ever She's hear that ruined. he's around the house. We're ruined with that scoundrel. This is all your fault, Jason. Calm down, Caroline. Let's talk rationally about this. Rationally? Rationally. Tell me, what are we going to do? She's ruined. Ruined? Nowhere We're to all go. all ruined. You're ruined, I'm ruined. We've been ruined since the day we was born. Tell Dilsey that you let him follow me around everywhere. I couldn't stop him. I tried. I swear. Come on, Benji. You two have been snooping around after me. Did my uncle send you two to spy on me? Did he? Did he? Luster, if you don't get him out of here right this minute. I can't do nothing with him. 
Here, you try. Oh, come on now, let him stay. He ain't harming no one. You like that fire, huh, Jack? Look here. What do you see up there, Benji? I gonna see you. You know you're supposed to stay away from all that till they get done. Now, come on, Benji. I'll let you drink some champagne if you come down. Gate, this cat gonna come home. Nonsense, go get him. Benji, come on back now, Benji. Caddy said she would come back.
get out. Did you leave the gate unlatched when you came in? Of course not. Don't you know I got better sense than that? The girl was more scared than anything, thank God. Worse. Christ, this family's bad enough without the idiot accosting girls on the street. Hmm? I could have told you it was a matter of time before something like this happened. You've got to send him to Jackson. You can't say no any longer. Or we'll see if Mr. Burgess don't shoot him first. That's enough. If you don't send him to Jackson, we'll just have to take other precautions. That's enough, Jason. That is enough, Jason. Enough. You think you're better than everybody else just because you're a ten. Shut up, Jason. You're a dirty little beast. Caddy, you be nice to your brother. He cut up all of Benji's dogs. You're a skizzle. I'll slit his gizzle. Caddy. I will. I swear. He did it all just right. to be me. All right. Now, you come over here now. You come here, Caddy. We are a family. Your sister and your brothers are all we got in this world. Well, Father, speak to me now. What are you going to do? Nothing? Not a goddamn thing? Hell. Well, if you're not willing to, I'll do it myself. <laughs> Oh, Benji. Especially quiet tonight. Real quiet. Father smells like the rain. I love each and every one of you. Good night, Benji. I love you. I give you the mausoleum of all hope and desire. I fear it may fit your individual needs no better than it fit your grandfather's or his father's. I 
give it to you not that you may remember time, but that you might forget it now and then, and not waste all your breath trying to conquer it. Because no battle is ever won. They are not even fought. The field is they are only to reveal to man his own folly and despair and victory victory is just an illusion of philosophers and fools christ was not crucified he was worn down by the minute ticking of little wheels going on a trip? No, I was uh, uh, just spring cleaning. <clears throat> what, is this a wedding or a wake? I reckon the police won't get me for wearing my new suit one time. Just like that, people might make you for a Harvard student. Heaven forbid. So you come to class now, or are you too proud for classes too? I'll be there. Yeah. Don't wait for me. All right, well. Come on, Shreve. Guess your husband can take care of himself, right? Go on, Shreve. Can I help you? Hi, uh, may I please have four Taylor's gooses? Uh, uh, geese? Geese, rather. Four? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. sold Benji's pasture so that you may go to Harvard, where the best of thought clings like dead ivy vines to old dead brick. Man, the sum of his climactic experience. Man, the sum of what have you. A stalemate of dust and desire. Again, 
the saddest of all, more than was. Sometimes water is like breathing. The float slow, healing out to the sea and the caverns and the grottoes. The displacement of water is equal to the something or something. <laughs> Reducto absurdum of all human experience. And two six pound flat irons weigh more than one Taylor's goose. <laughs> You know what a tailor's goose is, boy? It's an iron. Iron weigh 10 pounds. Two six pound flat iron weigh 12 pounds. That weigh more than a tailor's goose. At least by my reckoning. from his club for cheating at cards, and then he got caught cheating on his midterm exam. Cat, he was expelled. Well, what about it? I'm not going to be playing cards with him. He's a scoundrel, Caddy. Jesus, I don't need you to protect me. I'm your older brother. Quit. You gonna look after Ben here, Bob? <laughs> Why do you care? Promise. When have you ever cared? Quentin, I'm... I'm sick. Sick? You can't marry him then if he's sick. Oh, no, the sick is why I have to marry him. Somebody? Anybody. Do you understand? Whatever happens, don't let them take Benji to Jackson. Do you hear me? Is it his? Is it Caddy? Oh, Listen, Caddy, you uh, you don't have to go through with this. We can, we can go away. You, me, Benji, we can go. We can go where nobody knows us. Yes, for your school money? The money they sold the past for? But don't you let them send Benji to Jackson. But do it for me, Quentin. There could just be a hell beyond. Two of us more than dead. Beyond the clean flame. Purity is a negative state, 
and therefore contrary to nature. Virginity is a concept created by man. Nature is hurting you, Quentin. The world and all its sordid clarity. Not Caddy. Don't lash out at your sister when it's the world you wish to punish. Those are just words. Exactly. As is everything. You don't know. Oh, I do. And you will too. I could smell the curves of the river beyond the dusk. And I could feel water beyond the twilight. When it bloomed in the spring and it rained, the smell was everywhere. Like there was something in the light itself. On a tree, don't you? You'd like me to get you a tree? All right, all right, you stay here. is the sum of his misfortunes. One day you'd think misfortune would get tired, then time itself is your misfortune. You carry the symbol of your frustration into eternity. Then the wings are bigger, but who can play a harp? India Quinn, can you imagine? Do you love him? Make you do it then? Hmm? I'll kill him. I will. I'll find him and I'll kill him. Or I'll, I'll force him to leave forever. <clears throat> tomorrow, Caddy. I will tomorrow. Ask me again. For him. I've already died for him, and I will over and over again. You would understand if you... If what, Caddy? If what? You've never done that, have you? With a girl? Sure, I have. Lots of times. Stop. 
Okay, now. You miss. <laughs> I tried to scratch your eyes out. She send you? No. Nobody did. This is just me. I'm telling you to get the hell out of town. I'll give you until sundown. And what do you do if I don't? that bad up there, huh? I said I'll give you until tonight. Look, kid. Ain't no good gonna come from you taking this so hard. And it's not your fault. It's bound to happen to us sooner or later. If it wasn't me, it would have been some other fella. That cigarette out of your mouth. I'm not going to try to beat that. I'm giving it to you. Because if you're seriously threatening me, you're going to need it. Come on, then. Quinn. You mean it. Face me. Please let me go. Hey! Verbo! Julio! Verbo! Chicas! 
the fuck? You steal my sister. Tomatsu! Tomats! Merdoso! Bastardo! Bastardo! Remember that for you to go to Harvard has been your mother's dream since you were born. And no Compson has ever disappointed a lady. Harvard is such a fine sound. And 40 acres is no high price for a fine sound. We will swap Benji's pasture for a fine dead sound. pushed you in the water in your drawers. Can you do yourself? Yes. The blade is long enough. It would not be a second. Do it. see my murmuring bones in the deep water like a roof of wind and after a while they will not be able to distinguish even bones upon the lonely and inviolate sand until on the day when he says rise only the flat irons will come floating up All men are just accumulations, dolls stuffed with sawdust, swept up from the trash heaps where all the previous dolls have been thrown away. The sawdust flowing from what wound, of what side that did not die for me. You cannot bear to think that someday it may not hurt you like this. Man was conceived by accident. 
every breath a fresh cast of dice already loaded against him. No man ever does that from first fury of remorse or despair or bereavement. He only does it when he comes to realize that even his despair or remorse or bereavement is of no particular importance to the dark dice man. No. You will not know despair until you come to understand that even she is not quite worth despair. Non-fui son, fui, non son. Was is the saddest word of all. There's nothing else. It's not despair until time. And it's not even time until is. It was. Once a bitch, always a bitch. That's what I say. And mother says, she's your own flesh and blood. If I had my way, when people act like no matter who they are, you treat them like And mother says, but she's just a child. Do you want me to do anything with her or not? If you do, then let me do things my way. Please. Just another half a cup. No, child. No 17-year-old girl needs more than a cup of coffee. Is that your school costume, Miss? Or is today a holiday no one bothered to tell me about? And what in Christ is that hair? I cut it. Thought you'd go around town with my name. Looking like a goddamn whore. Now you go home, child, get dressed for school. You can ride in with Jason. You're gonna make yourself late again. Oh, no, she's not gonna be late. We're gonna change that right now. Come here. What for? Put the cup down and get over here. What you after now, Jason? Damn it, Quinn, you may think you can run over your grandmother, but I ain't her. I give you 10 seconds to get over here. When it's 10 seconds, give me a whistle. Class again, slipping around with one of those things. I don't slip around. I don't. Now, now, Miss Quinn. 
Ruben, Lungo og Balta. I har ikke lagt hænder på nogen af dem her. Det er selv. Watch yourself. Miss Caroline, you go on back upstairs and go to bed. You ain't got to worry yourself with this. Yes. It's all right. It's all right. And you didn't even see him? You didn't even try to get him to make any provision for it? She shall not touch his money. Not one cent of it. He can be forced to by law. He can't prove. Oh, hush, Caroline. And what about Jason's job at Horvitz Bank? We'll worry about that later. Ever since that night she dumped on our doorstep, we've been stuck with that ungrateful brat. Stuck in a crap job in this backwater town, while my sister gallivants around the world doing God knows what. Jason. <clears throat> what are you doing here? Why didn't anybody let me know? I just happened to see it in the paper. Just happened to. Fine lot you care. Come sneaking on in here as soon as he's dead. Don't think you can use this to come crawling back in. Mother won't have it. I won't. We don't even know your name in that house anymore. Do you know that? You'd be better off if you were down there with him. Oh, Quentin. You're still an angry child, aren't you? You're right, though. Jason, if you can get Mother to let me have it back, I'll give you $1,000. <laughs> You don't even have a thousand dollars. I have. I will have. I can get it. Hmm. I have an idea to let you get it too, on your back, like you got her. Go on. Let it out. It's no secret what you and I think about one another. Jason, you just promise me that you'll take care of. That is easy for you to say. You don't have to. What? Anything. You're right. I have nothing. Okay, nothing. Get you get on home, huh? There's no place for you in Jefferson anymore. Listen, if I send other checks beyond the ones that Mother takes, can you use it if she... Can you just make sure that she has nice things like the other girl? Please, it... If you fix it so that I can see it for a minute, I'll give you $50. You don't have $50. Yes, I do. Will you do it? Let me see it then. I don't believe you. For one minute. Yes. Hmm? Even just a glimpse, I will run right away. Give me the money first. No, after. Don't you trust me? No. 
I know you. I grew up with you. Okay, Dan. Stop. Yes. Promise me. Give me the money. Give me the money before somebody sees you. Jefferson already has enough to talk about already. Every month for 16 years, she's been sending checks, flaunting the money she gets from who knows where, spoiling a girl who's done nothing to earn it. We need nobody's cheers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Certainly not that of a fallen woman. Yes, mother. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what we needed, mother. The longs we had the past 16 years, mother. So I let mother burn the fakes and I cash the checks myself. It's for the best. Someone has got to look out after our family's finances. The new shipment just came in. You better help Uncle Joe sort it in the back. That's fine. Hey, Jason, I could use a hint. Uh, not right now, man. I got some hands. You're actually saying the White Sox are gonna be the Yankees. And let's just go over the facts. The Yankees got Babe Ruth. They got Lou Gehrig. Babe Ruth, the single greatest baseball player of all time. I know what this guy's gonna say right now. You're thinking about the Cardinals. Well, I'm gonna tell you, there is no way the Cardinals are beating the Yankees. Do you understand how baseball works? Are you familiar with the game of baseball? Because I don't dabble in the sport. I'm an expert. I've had no answer to the last two letters, though the checks were both cashed. Is everything all right? Let me know at once, or I'll come see myself. You promised me you'd let me know if anything was wrong. Please wire at once. Caddy. Come on, Jason. I reckon, unlike these fools, you got your money on the Yankees to win the pennant this year. I can't deny this shot. You think your team can be that lucky forever? No, that's why it's not luck. Luck has nothing to do with it, sir. Mm, I wouldn't bet on any team with that Babe Ruth fellow on it. Really? Really. Don't care for Babe Ruth? I could care less for Babe Ruth. Well, he's just the single greatest athlete in the history of humanity, but I could see why that would not seem significant to some people, I suppose. Babe Ruth is uh, just a fat old fool. What's your message, sir? Message is all is well. Q will write today. All is well. Mm -hmm. Q will write today. Q will write today. Make sure you send a collect. All right? Yeah. Collect. Collect. Send a collect. I will send a collect, sir. news from the telegram office? Now, why the hell would you think that? No reason you you look upset. I thought you maybe really you think I care. What you think, girl? Sometimes I think you want me to fire you. 17 years you've been saying that. 17 years. That's right. 17 years.
your telegram, sir. Sir, your telegram. All right, thank you, sir. beat you for an hour. And if that gentleman wants some too, he is welcome to it. acres here while you were running your little shirt-tailed country stores just a town full of hicks mother <clears throat> I truly want to thank you for coming down this evening for dinner that's the least I can do. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> What's wrong, Quentin? Do you not like your mate? I mean, we can get you a better piece if that one's not good enough for you. It's fine. Mm. Maybe you care for some more rice. No. Nope. No more rice for you, Miss Quentin. Hmm? Quentin, you don't want some more rice? I said I don't want any more. Well, here you go. Get you some rice. There you go. Eat up now. Get some more rice. Makes you real strong. Come on, get some more rice. How about, how about a little more, Miss Quinn? Get some more rice for you. Now go and eat your food. Go and eat your rice, Miss Quinn. I can't eat with him. It's like eating with a pig. Hush now, Quinn. Then she ain't gonna bother you, know. But he will. You use him to spy on me, and I know you do! Oh, Mother, <clears throat> that reminds me. I saw the most curious thing this afternoon while out on a drive. What's that? I mean, it was truly curious. Probably the most remarkably, truly curious thing what is I'd so ever seen. What is so curious? I'll tell you later. 
I don't like to discuss such matters in front of Miss Quinton. Her being so innocent and all. Mm. May I be excused? Oh, were you, were you waiting on us? Mm. Why does he treat me this way, Grandmother? If he doesn't want me here, then why would he just let me go back to my... That's enough! Yeah! Not another one. Uh, if he would just... Uh, if he would just... Do... Just what? Just what? Go on, Miss Quinton, say it. Say it in front of your uncle. Say it in front of your grandmother. Just what? What can I do for you, Miss Quinton? Speak freely now. This is your family. This is your family dinner, Miss Quinton. Just what? Tell me. Speak up, Quinton. I can't hear your little voice. Speak up. Say something, Quinton. Say a word or something. Speak. Speak your face. Ah! That's the most sensible thing she's ever said. Go on, eat your food, mother. sent a letter today? Why, yes. Yes, she did. And? And what? Did she send any money? Jesus, everyone's a beggar today. Did she? She did. How much was it? That's all you care about, isn't it? It's so disappointing. Get your money. Come on, Miss Queen, get your money. That's it? But, but what? This is... Do you know how old I was before I ever saw a $10 bill? You should be ashamed of yourself. No, it's. I just thought that. You thought what? What were you thinking? Never mind. Queen. 
like my brother, Quentin. I love you. Please don't ever forget that. I have to go away now. And you need to stay with your grandfather, your grandmother. They'll take good care of you.
goddamn hell Luster breaking my window. He can't do his one job now. He's running around destroying my property. What's the matter with him now? Says me and Benji busted a window in his room. Well, how can that be if you ain't never goes in there? That's what I said. He says we were outside, chucking rocks. You didn't do it, did you? No, ma'am. You ain't lying to me, is your boy? I swear. You can ask Benji. I still don't understand how your window was broken. Are you sure it was yesterday? Mm -hmm. There was that storm last week. You're welcome. It would take me a week to notice a busted window in my own room, Mother. What kind of idiot do you take me for? Delza, hey! Delza, you get Miss Quentin down here right now! I can't understand. It's as if someone had just broke into our house. Jason! Grab your hat, Sheriff. <clears throat> Grab your hat, Sheriff. Let's go. They already got a 12-hour head start on them. Sit down. Tell me what the trouble is. My niece and that asshole from the carnival stole some money from my house. Now grab your hat, Sheriff, and get in the goddamn car. <laughs> Jason, what you doing with $3,000 hidden cash in your closet? Well, where I keep my money is my business. Your business is to help me find it. Your mother know about this money? Look here. My house has been robbed. Now, I come to a, a law enforcement officer, and this is what I get. What you gonna do to that girl if you catch her? What am I gonna do? Hmm? Nothing. The bitches cost me a job. The one chance that I had to get ahead in life. How they killed my father. That is shortening my mother's days. That is making me a laughing stock in town. Let it go. Hmm? Good riddance to her. I just want what is mine back. If I had some evidence, I could act upon it. But without that, I figure it's just like you say. None of my business. So that's it. That's the answer then. That's it, Jason. Ooh. Mm -hmm.
me? It was amazing. After the man who played the saw got done, there was another one who could play a wash for it. Just like this. Where are he going now? It's the window. He you know Miss Quentin's gone. Oh, Lord. Lord, how mercy. I seen the first, I seen the last. I seen the beginning. Now I see the end. Come on, Augusta. Mm. Well, he's coming. Come on, baby. Now, Lester, you know the way up the street, round the square, to the graveyard, and straight home. Sure, sure, same as always. Now, you be sure and go the right way. Last Benji is gonna make a ruckus. Now, you hear? Yeah, yeah, I got it. All right. And don't you dare go too fast. What do you say to take Queenie out for a real ride? What's that you say? Faster? Great idea. Bring him back! 